First take has spearheaded diversity and equity. You have any idea how offensive it was for me to sit there and hear Monica McNutt say that about me when I'm the one who handpicked our roster on first take? I'm in charge of content. I'm in charge of the contributors that are on the show. That would be me. Yet here we are on this particular day, and I am sitting up here, and I'm Google Alerts it is. Let me play for you the headlines. One headlines, uh, USA Today, Monica McNutt leaves Stephen A. Smith speechless with real talk about first takes WNBA coverage. That ain't real talk. That's the damn point. It's not real. It's false. Man, man, man. So it's looking like Stephen A. Smith got McNutted on, man. And what do I mean by that? Well, Stephen A. Smith got put on blast and called out by his colleague, ESPN analyst, Monica McNutt. You guys are probably more familiar with Monica McNutt on ESPN show Get Up. Well, she was on ESPN First Take with Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. They had a heated debate about the WNBA and the hard fouls on Caitlin Clark. Monica McNutt called out Stephen A. Smith live on ESPN First Take. Stephen A. Smith was appalled. So I would like to highlight that again, just in case if you guys missed it, because it's going to put everything into context in today's video. But let's check out the clip right here. Here's the video. Who talk about women's sports more, more, than, more than first take? Stephen A., respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Wow. All right, we got wow. go to go. You wow. guys. So, so did you, you know you're my show? guy, but. Who does more for, than, than Stephen us? Stephen A., I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. <laughs> okay. It's, okay. It's, right, let, let's, I got you it. my guy, but I I'm talking it. to you. Guys, I got guys, it. guys, guys, you, I really you, appreciate you missed, You're my girl, but you've missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen A., guys, three years ago, you would not talk about the W at this level. Don't do that. Guys, Come guys, 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 guys. Nobody I was, Monica. Guys. You making hey, Stephen A's point, hey, Monica. Hey, Monica, you making Stephen A's point. Probably. Probably, Monica. What y'all want to say? I know it's definitely. Say it. No, 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 Monica. No, no, don't parse words, Monica. Say I know it, Monica. you got to go in those locker rooms. Shannon's I right. know you Say cool it, with Monica. those women. Say it. So do me a favor and let me finish. Say I it. I got y'all. Okay. Okay. I'm not are you not gonna go tell me what okay. to say, Stephen? I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk, right? There is certainly <laughs> jealousy. There's certainly a reason to prove yourself. But if it is as bad as you all are now perceiving it to be, this team is 11 games in, and this is the first time we're having a conversation about a non-basketball play. If it as is as lethal and as nasty as the media has come to portray it. All I'm saying is Kennedy Carter, her behavior is not indicative of the entire league. And the blanket no, statements are where this thing is going. Let me finish. The blanket statements are where this thing is going left. There are a ton of women in this league that are going to compete at a high level and be good sports in this thing. This is new territory for everyone involved. As far as the Matt Barnes and the Uncle Shannon conversation about getting into fights and altercations, you mentioned Angel Reese. Angel Reese has always had her teammates back to that degree. Aaliyah Boston has been walking this thing out with right. Caitlin Clark closely. I know that her teammates love her and appreciate her, but if it is not who they are to jump up and start a fight, then maybe they can't afford to lose game checks potentially, y'all. A game check in the NBA is what we're talking about in terms of salaries overall in the WNBA. So I think I would like you guys, and we all should do a better job of having a conversation with a little bit more nuance. We all agree Kennedy Carter was wrong. We all agree there is some jealousy, but to your no. point, Stephen A., it is, there is jealousy. There, to your point, it is still a prove-it league. What has been frustrating for those of us that have covered the league for years, you can go back to Candace Parker's rookie year. There's tape floating around on the internet. There has been physicality and welcome to the league moments. That's all. And so making a blanket statement about the women of this league is unfair. Is there jealousy? Yes. But is the league and are all of the players in the league hating on her? I do not think that that is accurate. And this is not a ballet well, for, performance. Well, first of all, ever hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let go hold on, hold on, no, no. We got to have time. We got to have time to respond, Monica. We, do you? We gotta have because time to respond to you there, cause you're saying a lot. So you got, you're, you're saying a lot. So you're saying you're saying a Go lot. Ahead. You're saying it, it, it's. Excuse me. First of all, nobody said oil. All. That's number one. No, number actually, two. A lot of people have said we oil, said to you, don't. Uh, 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 we we said to you, don't say probably. That's all we said. We said okay. we said I'm say, not say it. Probably, we, it's not probably. That's all we did. 
Hey, I didn't guys, think, can you guys do... Can you guys hold up? Can you guys put me on camera for one second, please? Can you guys put me on camera for one second, please? Everybody's talking over each other. Everybody's in different studios, and we have delays. Can everyone just finish their thought, and then, like, it's hard to do the back and forth when we're all in different places. So you're all talking at the same time, and I can't understand anything that you're saying, so the viewers at home can't either. Okay, so that's Stephen A. Smith getting called out by Monica McNutt live on ESPN First Take. Stephen A. Smith went on his podcast, like I said in the first video I did, covering this topic. I said, Stephen A. Smith making his face right here. When he made that face, Stephen A. Smith is going to go into max ether mode on his podcast. And you know, he got to get his get back. And he said that on his podcast. He said, if somebody irritates him, you should get your get back by irritating the hell out of them. And that's exactly what he did. He had fired off on Monica McNutt on his podcast about the topic that they had on ESPN First Take. So with that being said, guys, let's highlight what Stephen A. Smith said in response on his podcast. And before I get started with Stephen A. Smith's response, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, guys. Hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That really does help my YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Let's check out this clip right here. As it pertains to what Molly said doing a job at that particular moment, naturally in television, got to get us to commercial break. Sometimes damn the commercial break. But that's a subject for another day. I'll deal with that. Here's the bigger issue. You know, there's something that's going on and a lot of people run from it. But I'm not. Because... I'm not scared of these subjects. Doesn't faze me at all. To address Monica McNutt's point, I found it very unfortunate that she would say that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the executive producer of First Take. You ever heard of Monica McNutt? You have now. Because she's on First Take a lot. Shanae Ogumake? Absolutely wonderful, spectacular basketball analyst, et cetera, et cetera. WNBA player in her own right. Ask her how it's been to be on first take. How about Andrea Carter? Who's a rising star in this business? How much do you think first take helped that? What about Kimberly Martin? What about Molly Kiram herself? Now, I have sat back for years and taken a lot of shit from people. Some who don't know what the hell they're talking about. Some who act like they don't know just because they want to get at me. I could care less about people getting at me. I just want you to be accurate. And it is highly offensive to me when somebody implies or flat out states like Monica McNutt did, Monica McNutt did this morning, which was factually incorrect. I challenge anybody to find a show in sports television that discusses women issues, that discusses the WNBA or women's sports, that highlights and profiles female analysts more than first take. It's been going on for years. One of my producers here. This guy by the name of Galen Gordon, who used to be a producer on First Take. He was one of the people who spearheaded. Highlighting diversity. Um, you as an audience don't know this, but Monica McNutt does. The James Dunn and the David McKinnons of the world and others, he's a black man overseeing first take my boss the hnic as they say one of the executives of the top three executives at espn overseeing first take is a black man by the name of dave roberts we have black women we have white women mina comms let me not forget to mention her there's a female host on my show Ain't nobody trying to let go of Molly. Before her, it was Kerry Champion. Before Numbers Never Lie came along with Jamel Hill, she's on first take.
First take has spearheaded diversity and equity. You have any idea how offensive it was for me to sit there and hear Monica McNutt say that about me when I'm the one who handpicked our roster on first take? Okay, so that's Stephen A. Smith responding to Monica McNutt on this podcast. And here's my opinion about it. I feel like Stephen A. Smith does what he always does when he get called out. He goes max ether mode, and then he moves the goalposts. And that's exactly what he did. He moved the goalposts, made it about something else. He tried to add all of these other things around a topic, these little fillers, to try to make his point instead of just sticking with the topic of what Monica was talking about. And I feel like Monica McNutt was absolutely right what she said to Stephen A. Smith on ESPN First Take. ESPN First Take was not covering the WNBA like that three years ago. As a matter of fact, nobody was talking about the WNBA like that three years ago. It's a fact. The numbers prove it. The money prove it. The contracts prove it. Nobody was talking about the WNBA like that. So for Stephen A. Smith to go on his podcast and move the goalposts and make it about diversity at ESPN, he really just lost the argument, in my opinion. I feel like Stephen A. Smith just got emotional, went on his podcast, and he just tried to come up with something real quick instead of really going in the archives and pulling up some receipts and, you know, just having a better argument to what Monica McNutt was talking about. You know, he could have brought up some numbers and segments and they could have made a quick compilation clip for him, but he made it like a personal thing to bring up race inside of ESPN and black men, this and his boss is black and the diversity at ESPN and all the stuff that he is doing, hiring people and putting other people on and, and putting other female ESPN analysts on first take and telling and telling Monica McNutt to ask them about that and how do they feel about it. So, you know, Stephen A. Smith definitely took it as a personal attack. And I feel like Stephen A. Smith silently made this personal with Monica McNutt to the point that we may not understand it. But if you're working alongside Stephen A. Smith and the stuff Stephen A. Smith was bringing up, Monica McNutt should definitely take that personal. And that's just my opinion on that, because Stephen A. Smith, in my opinion, was flexing his power to Monica McNutt. So, yeah, that's just my opinion on it, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts about today's video. Be sure to get in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down new sub if you're a new sub. And we out, guys. Peace.